The country has in recent years witnessed an unprecedented number of building tragedies as unscrupulous contractors and landlords continue to build structurally deficient houses with reckless abandon. Following the Hiruma tragedy that claimed the lives of 49 people, the Ministry of Public Works in partnership with the Ministry of Housing and the county government has now extended the ultimatum issued by the Nairobi Governor Dr. Evans Gidaro for the vacation of all buildings found unfit for habitation for a further one week. Public Works Principal Secretary Paul Moringa confirmed the extension of the demolition deadlines even as he affirmed the Ministry's commitment to streamline the housing and construction industry. We have decided to put a bit of a human face to this whole challenge that we confront because in our meetings we recognize the affected people are Kenyans but even the other ones we want to call culprits are also Kenyans and um, there is every possibility that um, uh, the activity of constructing illegal structures could be for lack of information or for lack of proper regulation and auditing. So we are in agreement with the governor in his announcement last week that um, we give residents a moratorium of seven days. We're going to be using that period to carry out further due diligence on all the structures that have been identified for demolition. Um, and this is a really action plan. We've set up two subcommittees. One subcommittee will be doing due diligence, basically looking at some, uh, um, giving the building a second look so that um, uh, we can assure the owners of the buildings so that the buildings really cannot be saved. Eh? Absolutely. So we'll give them that benefit of doubt. Eh? And where we find there's any structural underpinning or reinforcement that can be done to secure the buildings, we don't want them to lose their investments. 228 buildings in Nairobi have so far been earmarked for demolition, with the majority of these structures located in Huruma, Babadogo and Zimmerman estates. Condemned buildings which will be standing by the lapse of the deadline will be brought down by bulldozers for the Ministry of Public Works in conjunction with the Nairobi County Government.